The presentation of an elaborately carved taiha was a feature of a civic farewell for Mayor Ming Foon and his wife Ying last night. Presenting Taiha, MC Walter the Wiz Walsh said that Okawa recognised the core values of Aroha, Manakitanga, and Rangatiratanga that Mr. Foon displayed and the work he and his family had done and continued to do for the Gisborne District and East Coast community. The four eyes on the Taiha represented Ngahoefa that symbolised no matter where Ming and his family travelled, this taiha would always call them home, just like the four winds of Tāpuri Mātia. The surface pattern of the rako was called Rape Rape and spoke of the flowing water and was a mukutukupu of Tangaroa. The taiha would serve as a kaitiaki over Ming and his whānau and always remind him that no matter where he goes, home is where the heart is on the east coast, said Mr Walsh. The presentation was made at the start of a two-hour function in the new Farekai at Te Poho Rawari, at which tributes to Mr Foon were paid by various members of the community. It's great to see that I was looking back in my life and I was thinking, we're serving in the gardens, serving in the shop, served on the council in 94 as the party Tani Tani head of the wall, and then became served as the mayor from 2001 to now, and my next job is to continue to serve. And I just want to acknowledge every one of you to allow me to serve you one way or another. Mayor Ming Foon handed over the mural robes to his deputy, Rhett Stoltz, yesterday, Gisborne's first woman mayor. After swearing her affirmation to fulfil the office of mayor, Mrs Stoltz, by council requirement, appointed Josh Farihinga as Gisborne's first Māori deputy mayor.